Uh, hello, I've got my board here. And I have a cup. see it very well because I've drank some of it down but I wanted to tell you this cup can hold 32 ounces and I wanted to talk to you about drinking water because drinking water is very important a person can get dehydrated if they do not drink enough water and so people are drinking stuff. They're drinking soda. They're drinking Kool-Aid. They're drinking coffee. They're drinking all these juices and brand new cool drinks, uh, energy drinks, alcohol, all that stuff. There's, there's all kinds of drinks. People have so many choices of drinks. And what I want to say is that your number one choice of drink should be water. I've learned that your body really, really needs water. And if you continue to not get the right amount of water in your body every day, your body is going to suffer. Okay. If you feel thirsty, you've already gone too long without getting enough water. And when you drink other drinks, they should not be counted as water. So if you drink three sodas, none of that counts as water. And those drinks made from water, such as coffee and Kool-Aid, they have water in it, but still, that cannot be counted as water. Your body needs a certain amount of water for many, many reasons. Uh, just a few are to hydrate you and to clean out your body as well and to help your bowels move well. So if you haven't been getting enough water, you should definitely start and it might take a little bit for your body to recover from the lack of water that you were giving it. So you may ask yourself, how much water should I drink? Well, I have my board here and I'm gonna show you and um, they might say eight cups a day, but guess what? Let's be a little bit more specific than that because everybody's body is different. And it has to do with your weight. So here's my board. And let me show you how you will know how much water to drink. I'll give you the formula. So your weight. divided by two equals how many ounces of water you should drink per day. So your weight divided by two equals how many ounces of water you should drink every day. Yeah, my Y looks bad. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't have cared about that, but... You probably do, so your weight divided by two equals how many ounces of water you should be drinking every day. So if you weigh 220 pounds and you divided that by two, well, I know what that is, but I just want to show you on the calculator as well. Here we go here, calculator. Two, two, zero. Divided by two equals 
110. So if you, ah, sorry. If you weigh 220 and you divide it by two, that would mean you would need to drink 110 ounces per day of water. Let's see how much I weigh. And then we will calculate my weight. Always weigh yourself on a flat surface. Don't put your weight scale on a carpet, okay? So let's see here, 168.2 is my weight. Let's kind of round it. Okay. Oh, let's just say round it up. I'm going to round it up to 170. 170 divided by 2. And however much 170 divided by 2 is, that's how many ounces I should drink per day. Let's go ahead and use our calculator. Just to make sure we have an accurate amount. I'm gonna clear that off and put 170 divided by two. 85 ounces of water is how much I should drink per day. So you can see that if you, the more you weigh, the more water you need to be putting in your body every day. And that was 85 ounces. Okay, 85 ounces. So you can find cups that have ounces on them and, or you could, use this cup, usually the restaurants will give you 32 ounce cups and they will let you know how many ounces the cup is. Uh, but this one's a 32 ounce cup. Uh, when I was, um, the beginning of my diet, I remember I was drinking four 32 ounce cups per day, but it looks like I don't need four per day anymore. Uh, so if I was going to figure out how many cups I needed with 80, 85 ounces, if I needed 85 ounces and I have a 32 ounce cup, I could divide that by 32. No. 85 divided by 32. Okay, and it says 2.65 or 2 and 21 32s. So that's more than half of another cup. So less than three cups of my 32 ounce cups per day is how many I should be drinking per day, less than three cups, or rounding it up to three cups is a good idea. But that's not, that three cups of 32 ounces, that should not count when I'm drinking Kool-Aid, or Powerade, or coffee, or anything else. That's separate. So, what I like to do is, if I do wanna drink, well, I start my breakfast with water, and then if I want to drink, I'll drink my cup or at least half of it before I have my other beverage. And then I'm only the most I get of another beverage other than water. If I can fit in all of my ounces per day of water is two additional beverages that are not water. That's the most I can fit into my body in a day if I'm getting the right amount of water. So um, I've been working on this this entire year, making sure I get the right amount of water in my body. And you should too, because your body will thank you for it. 
but uh, yeah, if I am drinking more than three additional beverages per day, I end up finding that I have got, I wasn't able to make it to my amount of ounces of water I needed. So you need to make water your priority when it comes to your drink. And when you're doing well on getting your water in, you can reward yourself with another beverage. But water is very, very, very important. They say that water helps you recover from sicknesses and water can stop you from having heat strokes. Uh, sometimes in the heat, it real definitely decreases your risk of a heat stroke if you do have to go into the heat. So, uh, yeah, drink water because your body will thank you and your body will perform better for you. And this is your life skill of the day. Get, get that water in. Thank you for listening. And if you like this video, share and subscribe. Have a good day.